And a happy Friday morning to you. I'm meteorologist Peyton Malone. This is your August 19th around 10 a.m. update on what's going on out in the tropics. We continue to watch our tropical wave now in the Gulf of Mexico and looking pretty healthy. So let's start with a wide view of what's going on across the basin. You can see there's some tropical waves, but the only one we're still highlighting for development in the near term is going to be that wave in the Gulf of Mexico. This is in the Bay of Campeche, the extreme southwestern Gulf. And boy, I tell you what, over the past four hours, this thing has gone on from nothing to looking pretty healthy and the National Hurricane Center just put out a special uh, uh, outlook to increase the chances of this becoming a depression and maybe even making a run at a tropical storm. Danielle really, really ramped up this morning here. You can see a healthy burst of what we call convection. That just means storms around that broad circulation. But this is the initial signs of a system trying to organize it's moving northwest at about 10 miles per hour. So it's over the warm Gulf waters this morning and it's got about 36 more hours over the warm waters to organize and it could become a depression and could become a tropical storm. That is certainly a possibility. You can see there uh, sitting in the far southwestern Gulf, far away from New Orleans and Houston, moving northwest. Now it's going to be moving inland by Saturday night, so it doesn't have a ton of time over the waters. That's the good news, but it has enough time over the warm waters to try to organize. And this part of the Gulf of Mexico can sometimes throw uh, some pretty sneaky systems that ramp up quickly. So we have seen it uh, a few times down in here. It's going to be moving into the uh, state of Tamaulipas as we go into the Saturday night time frame and perhaps up towards Brownsville. But anything north of, let's say, Corpus and up towards Houston, impacts look to be fairly minimal the way it looks right now. So as I mentioned, this has about 36 more hours all today. Most of tomorrow over the warm waters, the waters are in the mid to upper 80s in this part of the Gulf. Very, very warm uh, and wind shear. That's another big factor in trying to determine if something's going to organize. Wind shear is not that high. When you look at what's going on across the basin right here, it is in a fairly favorable environment. When you look at uh, the upper air pattern, you've got an upper level low over here that not really imparting much wind shear. Notice there's a void of wind shear over the system right now. And then on the western side, this is really just kind of outflow from the system. So it needs to vent and it looks like it's going to be able to do that. So it isn't a fairly favorable shear environment. Looks like it's going to stay that way through today and into tomorrow. And the shear really doesn't start to increase until Sunday. And by that point, it's already moved inland. So it's got the warm waters. It's got the low wind shear. It is in a favorable environment. It looks like it's going to stay that way. So there's the moisture. It's traveling to the north. And uh, regardless of how much it organizes, it'll bring some rain to northeast Mexico and into uh, lower Texas coast. And then watch what happens tomorrow as we go into uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's when a lot of that moisture gets pulled up into Texas and brings in beneficial rainfall. So regardless, Texas, you're going to get some moisture from this. Even Louisiana is going to see some moisture, and that means increasing rain chances. Look at some of these totals through the next seven days. Could see some totals top five, six, seven inches in drought stricken Texas. That is fantastic news for the state. Of course, it could come with some flooding, but they need the rainfall desperately as it's been so hot and dry there this summer. So overall, this does have a chance to become Danielle. That is our next name. It seems more likely it becomes a depression, but the way it's been working this morning with it looking so organized uh, could become our first or our fourth name system of the year. We're just waiting to see at this point. And by the way, the hurricane hunters, they are scheduled to fly out of Biloxi out at Keesler this morning. They leave central time just after 10 15. So they're about to take off when I'm recording this. They'll get out there midday and check it out to see. Do we have a closed circulation? What do the winds look like? And if we do have all that, we will see uh, it could become a depression soon. And if it's organized enough, it would get, of course, the classification of a tropical storm. Either way, it looks like it's going to be some rain for northeast Mexico and going into south Texas, but no impacts, no direct impacts currently expected in Louisiana. That's going to do it for our Friday morning tropical update. Of course, we will have additional updates as they come. Thanks for joining me.